What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, this one, there's no real title for this one, but I think you guys will get my point pretty good and well. But, uh, this one's kind of, um, a messed up one, but also something that I feel needs to be spoken about. And this is something that kind of started earlier, actually. So, if you guys know, I do have a sponsorship for my YouTube gaming channel through, um, you know, what's that company? Through Paradise Studios. Sorry, I can kind of slip my mouth with everything going on. So shout out to Paradise Studios for hooking me up with stuff, hooking me up with stuff to use in my videos. That's what's up. But uh, I was sitting there chilling on some underground too, right? Just, you know, ripping around with some of my friends online and having a good time. And this one kid comes on and starts running his mouth, you know. And, you know, we're all, well, not really, really running his mouth, but like just talking a bunch of crap. And so we're all sitting there cruising and chilling. Well, this kid's mom sits there and says, you know, hey, you need to hop off. And, you know, help out a little bit. And, you know, clean your room and stuff. He starts fucking mouthing off to her. And she's like, I need to get off right now. And I kid you not, I wish I had gotten this on video. This kid literally sat there and told him, this kid, keep in mind, this kid's probably only 11, maybe 12 years old. He sat there and told his mom to shut up and that he would do it later. And at that, I was floored by this kid. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, who the fuck are you to tell your mom to shut up? Especially at that age. Like, and I feel like that's what's wrong with a lot of this generation of kids is, you know, and I'm not bagging on parents or anything like that. I'm really not. What I'm bagging on is how they fucking raise their kids, how they don't do anything when their kid acts up like that. I tell you all something. If that were me, and I said that to my mom when I was that age, boy, let me tell you, I would have gotten my ass beat. I would have gotten my ass whipped for even doing half that. And, you know, and that brings up the fact that that's what's wrong with a lot of these kids these days. And this new generation of kids is that the parents don't fucking parent their kids. They don't discipline them. Do I tell you something? For all you parents out there that have kids that don't discipline your kids, like I'm not I'm not talking about those of you that do discipline your kids, because I know a lot of you do. Shout out to the awesome parents out there. Love you guys. But that's what's wrong with a lot of these young parents these days. They don't discipline their kids. I want to tell y'all something, man. You need to stop being pussy-ass fucking bitch parents and spank your fucking kid. There's nothing against them. There's, it's not against the law to discipline your kid. I want to tell you something. Maybe if you start disciplining your kids, maybe there'd be less bullying. Maybe there'd be less kids getting hurt. I want to tell you something. If you'd sit there and discipline your kid, and actually be a parent and stop letting the fucking electronics and everything run their lives, maybe they'd actually have a real future. Because let me tell you something, all you parents out there that are letting electronics run your kids' lives, you're letting the TV, smartphones, cell phone, tablets, game systems, you're letting all that shit run their lives. And you got you parents wonder 
here why you kids are the way they are, why they grow up to be bullies, why serial killers, is because you're not there to discipline them and teach them right from wrong. Do I tell you something? When I was a kid, I didn't have half that shit. I didn't have hardly any of that. Yeah, when I got into high school, I had a little simple flip phone. So what? But let me tell you something. When I was a kid, all I had was a Super Nintendo and outside. And let me tell you where I was at the time. I sure as fuck wasn't in front of that TV. I was outside. You know, it saddens me to see this generation of kids coming up the way they are with no real discipline and no real repercussions for the things that they do wrong. Go ahead and tell you something. If I did something bad at that age, I got my ass beat. I not only got stuff taken away from me, I got grounded, and I got my ass beat. I want to tell you something. I turned out great because of it. I learned right from wrong. Now, like I said, I'm not necessarily saying that it's all on the parents. But a good majority of it is because you let your kids set things all day long. And you don't parent them. You don't take them out to the park. You don't, you don't parent them as a parent. Like, you don't teach them right from wrong. I want to tell you something. That's why a lot of these kids these days are getting away with cyberbullying and messing with people in general. Because the parents don't sit there and look and see what they read. They don't see what these kids are sending other people. And I've said this many times before. Get off your fucking ass and be a parent and parent your fucking kid. Like, seriously. Like, what's so hard about parenting your kid? Keeping an eye on what they send to people. If you see your kid bullying someone or saying something they shouldn't be saying, pull them away from the computer, sit down, and talk to them about it. Hey, why are you doing this? And everyone wonders why I'm so ashamed of this new generation of kids. Like, dude, when I was a kid, like I said, I didn't have half that shit. I had a Super Nintendo system, and I had outside and my friends and and our bikes and stuff like that. And I was outside 99.9% of the time. I was raised in the country most of my life. I was raised... on the back roads of fucking Washington State. Well, more or less all over, but for a good portion of my life, from the, I say about four, maybe five, to the time I was about 12 or 13, I was raised on the back roads of Washington State, out on a farm at my uncle's house with my mom and my grandparents. And that's the one thing that a lot of these kids lack outside. They lack respect. And why do they lack respect? Because the parents don't fucking beat it into on the ones. I won't say beat it into them. Like, I'm not meaning that, like, literally beating it into them. But I'm meaning, like, you know, drilling them more. Like, you know, teaching them respect. Teaching them to respect their elders. Teaching them to respect each other. And to not bully one another. And you parents wonder why your kids grow up to be fucking serial killers, rapists, murderers. You wonder why they end up in jail for doing dope and dumb shit like that. There's a reason. Because y'all sit there and let you, you let your kids get away with it. And honestly, it, it, oh my god, like, I have no words to say at how annoying it is to see that. Now, like, I'm not a parent myself, but I do have, you know, some friends that, you know, I am the godfather of their kid. So if anything happens to them, you know, their kid comes to me and 
stuff like that. That's fine. That's great. And let me tell you something. As a godfather, if I ever saw that kid doing something bad, yeah, I would spank him. I would discipline them. I would teach them right from wrong. And what sickens me is that's what a lot of these parents don't do. They don't do what needs to be done. Therefore, these kids that are running around ramping in the streets and doing all this dumb shit, that's why they are the way they are. Because the parents do not sit down and discipline their kids enough and say, hey, you don't need to be doing this. Instead of being a parent, they become afraid of their kids. Because their kids decide, oh, my mom or dad is not going to do anything. So I can continue to get away with it and they can't do a damn thing. And if they try to stop me, I call the cops. Like... When did it become okay for a 9 or 10 year old to call the cops on their parents when their parents didn't do anything wrong except discipline their child? I don't get it. Yeah, you're right, Rebecca. It is easier said than done, but it does, it needs to be done. I know it's hard, but it needs to be done. Because let me tell you something. Like I said, if I ever rebelled against my parents, whether it was my mom, my dad, my grandma, my grandpa, whoever, I got my ass beat. I got my ass bent over my mom or dad's knee, and I got the belt on my bare ass. I got spanked as a kid. I got disciplined. And let me tell you something. I turned out really good. I learned my lessons. I learned my lessons from getting spanked and shit as a kid. And honestly, I need to go back to that. And as for y'all kids out there that are disrespecting your parents, that shit don't fly. Not with me. You want to tell you something. You disrespecting your parents is stupid. And this is one thing I get told all the time by parents. Like, how can you sit there and say that, you know, our kids need to be away from the screen when you're in front of it 24-7? Well, there's a reason for that. The reason for that is because I am a professional musician, I'm an artist, and I'm an author. Okay? So being on the computer is my job. I manage my own social media. I do everything on my own. So being on the internet all day is part of my job. That's part of what I do. But your kids have no business being on the internet 24 fucking 7. And if you ask me, and tell your kids 13, 14, 15 years old, hell, even at, honestly... And I'll be straight honest, there needs to be a limit on kids being on Facebook. There really does. Honestly, I feel like the age limit should be 15 and up. Maybe 14. Depending on if your kid's mature enough to handle it. But most of these kids that are out there that are 9, 10 years old, having social media, being, you know, internet famous, and show it that, like... You kids have no business being internet famous like that. You have no business even being on the internet or even having a girlfriend for that matter until you're about 14, 15 years old. Can I tell you something? I didn't have my first girlfriend until I hit fucking high And I was 16 at the time. But all you young kids out there, freaking 9, 10, 11 years old, Having boyfriends and girlfriends and talking about, oh, it's the end of the world. Nah, y'all don't need that shit. You guys need to be focused on your schoolwork and being a kid. Like, dude, there's plenty of time to have, you know, a boyfriend or girlfriend later on in life. You got your whole fucking life ahead of you. But instead of worrying about what's important, like schoolwork, getting a good education, 
you kids are so focused on having a boyfriend or girlfriend that it's, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. But you got to sit there and think that you run everything. But the reality of it is, kid, for all you kids out there, the reality of it is you guys don't run shit. The people that run shit are your parents. And y'all need to stop being little fucking brats and respecting your parents. Respect your elders. And stop talking back to them and doing dumb shit. Go ahead and tell you something. If I didn't have the shit y'all did at that age, let me tell you something. I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be six feet under dead. And if you think I'm playing, fucking try me. I would not be sitting here right now if I didn't have the shit y'all kids are doing these days. And you parents wonder... What's wrong with your kid when they become 17, 18 years old? Take a guess. Ding, 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 ding. You guys didn't parent them right. Maybe if you would start parenting and doing your fucking job, that wouldn't be turning out the way they are. So stop being scared of little fuckers and parent your child. Peace.